Hello and welcome to the latest edition of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders with David Lowenthal. I am David Lowenthal and today we're going to be, uh, or today our video is called I Wouldn't Be Friends with Somebody Who Watched My Show Either. Now, who am I talking about here? There's been a number of shows that are pretty awful that I wouldn't uh, be surprised if the uh, host didn't watch it. But uh, in this, cir this circumstance, I'm talking about none other than the infamous man himself, Jerry Springer. Now, pretty much every American watching this will know who Jerry Springer is. He was the king of raunchy daytime uh, uh, television talk show if it could be called a talk show, it was more a show where people throw chairs at each other. Uh, but the story of uh, Jerry Springer is really interesting and in how he really kind of mainstream sex and violence uh, on uh, daytime network television, probably the most blase, boring uh, kind of content in media there is. He really brought an excitement to it in his time. Now, Jerry Springer has had an interesting career. I think he, you know, in the 1960s and 70s, it was very political, kind of anti-war, anti anti-Vietnam War, uh, political activist. And then he, uh, he decided to run, or he served on the Cincinnati City Council uh, and ran for mayor and became mayor, uh, was forced out by a sex scandal, and I think came back and ran again then decided uh, he had had enough of politics because there wasn't a lot of money in it, so he decided to go into journalism. Uh, and he was a local TV news anchor, did a terrible job at first, uh, but then came back and really, really started doing a good job. Eventually some networks in New York noticed him uh, and uh, gave him a uh, his own show of his time, you know, at first, or his, his first kind of national show. That was terrible because he was being boring like everybody else, but then he eventually stumbled upon, uh, he created the Jerry Springer Show when he hired a very, very influential uh, producer who dis who saw Jerry Springer and saw that he could be talented by uh, courting controversy and courting polarization and all that. I've, I've talked a lot about controversy and polarization in other videos, but I think that uh, it especially comes home to roost in this video because Jerry Springer really took that principle to the maximum uh, that it could be uh, taken and created something really <laughs> fantastic and popular uh, out of it. Uh, so he decided that one, nobody knew who Jerry Springer was, so he was the first one to put the Jerry Springer Show logo in the corner so anybody who flipped on at any time of the day who had never seen the show before would see the name of the show. So that's one, they would know it's Jerry Springer. Two, they decided they'd go for a totally de different demographic. Both Jerry Springer and the producer basically said, we want to show four college kids. We want, we want to show that, that uh, your average you know, college boy, college you know, young adult, whatever, can flip on during, you know, class periods in his dorm uh, or in his apartment or in his frat house uh, when he's got nothing to do and watch something pretty great. And uh, they decided to start having, you know, you know, whose baby is this? Is this this person or that ba that person's baby? You know, people, you know, <laughs> somebody had sex with their brother. You know, you had... Uh, it was basically like a pro wrestling atmosphere uh, with lots of violence and people would throw chairs and everything and you just couldn't look away. It's like a car crash. You can't look away. And, uh, you know, this, he really invented this kind of model. And, you know, eventually uh, he was talking with his own friend about, uh, she was saying like, oh, I don't watch your show. Uh, I would never watch your show and Jerry Springer replied well I don't watch my show either and I wouldn't be friends with anybody who did watch my show so it just goes to show you don't necessarily need to be the market that you're trying to influence you just have to understand the market so you know take that to heart you know controversy polarization can really you know move your market they people want things that are different people want things that are in combat people want to take a side 
Jerry Springer is TV Mortal Kombat at its best. So, you know, if you're a libertarian entrepreneur, libertarian nonprofit, find ways to not be so boring. Find ways to uh, become, you know, much more polarizing, much more controversial. You know, make your market take a side. It will endear them to you much more. So thank you for watching uh, today's video um, of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders. Uh, I'm David Lowenthal. Uh, if you're a libertarian entrepreneur, nonprofit marketer, and you want to subscribe to the world's first uh, direct response marketing um, newsletter, uh, meant for libertarian entrepreneurs and libertarian marketers. Uh, you can subscribe below at the link below. And uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time.